Alright guys, welcome back to another episode of Going Medieval. So, today what I wanted to get done was hopefully work on this building a little bit more. And I know that we have a whole bunch of other construction projects around here, so I don't know how long it will take for them to uh, work on that. But um, there's a few other key factors that I want to set up. And that's getting the um, goats from this one to this one for this barn so uh, we'll see if we can't order somebody to do that quickly and then that way we can just get the um, animal hub husbandry people over to um, start moving them and stuff shouldn't take too long until somebody comes over here There we go. Alrighty then. So we can deselect that. Uh, what do we want? We want goats, not sheep. Chickens, no. I think we have chickens. Yeah, we do have chickens, don't we? Yeah, we have chickens. So uh, now we just need to make sure that sheep only go into this one and goats are in that one. And then they'll start hauling them over to that other side, I think. And our deer are doing pretty good. We have, um... The male's still young, so it's not ready for breeding or anything like that, but... It's getting there. It looks like they're still working on the paths. Which is fine. Eventually they'll have to, uh, build that wall. We can actually tell them to, uh, not worry about the wall for the moment. Not sure about the paths, but prefer if they got the paths done, honestly. But we can cancel the uh, wall for the moment. A little bit of lag there. Okay, so that will speed things up a little bit. We still have to finish building that part, but that's fine. And while we're waiting, we can work on getting some of this stuff done. Looks like they started working on the construction there, so that's good. Okay, so I'm going to start um, basically working on the path. So the, d the extra detail where the uh, loops and stuff are like that.
There's this weird bug with, um, what do you call it, like staircases and um, upper floors that I've discovered that I've reported once. Uh, I was told to report it again, so I just reported it quickly. But um, basically, if you put it like a door, and sometimes the doors don't always like register that it's a barrier. So what's happening up here is you can see that this little part right here is counting it as the part down below. Even when there's a door in front of it, for some reason it just counts it as a um, upper floor. Now, it doesn't always happen that way either. Like, if we go to here, we can see that... Oh, I guess it does. Huh. Okay, maybe it has something to do with stairs. That's not good, actually, because that shouldn't be counting it as directly above. Okay. Uh, that helps a little bit more figure out the issue. But it uh, doesn't really help with... Um, resolving it but um yeah because down below on the first floor it doesn't really register oh maybe it does yeah it just doesn't register the door there okay i wonder does okay, that one doesn't have an upper floor does this one this one has a ladder so i think that one's going to be a little bit different yeah And chickens don't have an upper stairs part, and the barn over here has another ladder, so. For whatever reason, it's just registering it as an upper part of the barn. Even though the main door here is considered locked. Uh, I don't know really how to fix that. Uh, we can put a wall there and then flip it around, I guess. Have it on the exterior, at least that one. This one I'm not sure how to fix. I might be able to put a door here. That might work. Um, uh, alternatively, what we could do is try... Rep well, this one we might be, be fine. Because I noticed that other doors locked it out. So it definitely has something to do with the stairs. Maybe. And doors. I don't know. It's a really weird bug. But uh, we'll go ahead and try replacing the stairs here and see if that helps. And if not, then we can flip it around and then have the door on the outside, I guess. That would work. But not ideal, but I mean, it would be better than nothing, I guess. So we'll remove the stairs and the door. <laughs>
All right, so I I currently am working on the farm part uh, for the mining and stuff like that. So um, there are some weird water glitches going on. I've noticed some people reporting this. I think maybe reloading might fix the issue though. Uh, once it's all mined out, it should be fine. So we'll probably do them in sections. Right here, what I'm going to be growing is cabbage. And the section over here, for the most part, is going to be seeds. Uh, though there's some material that I can't actually um, plant on, like these uh, rocky soil things. So we could probably leave the dirt just fine. I'm just going to tell them to not mine that out. And we'll just tell them to mine out the, um, the rocky soil, which is that one. Should be able to get most of these, actually. That one's rocky. So some of these ones. So that should be fine. And I told them to build that back. So we can basically fill this in with seed ones. And then that will give us some seeds for the cabbage. And once that's replanted and stuff like that, um, we'll be able to use that for uh, spring, which is just around the corner, actually. We have um, one more day to do, so for winter, and then we'll be on to spring. And I figure I'm going to kind of go with, like, um, organic lines. I'm not, I don't want it to be, like, completely... Um, a grid-based uh, canal system. It doesn't really... I, I was going to do that. You can kind of see some of the mistakes that I made. They started mining it. And I'm actually... Uh, after I got to about here and laying it out and everything like that, I'm like, yeah, I don't think that's going to look that good. So what I was decided to do was kind of make them more rounded, um, more organic for the fields and stuff like that. That might look a little bit better. And we could do something like that over here for... Uh, some of the other ones we might even have multiple fields too and I think it will probably be a joint effort for planting all of these so basically anyone that is available for planting will probably have them help out with uh, that so um, I'll probably just tell them to I'll check anyone with no tasks above this part like the growing part uh, we'll probably tell them to go and help uh, for gardening, uh, for at least planting. Harvesting might be fine, but um, like hunting, obviously that's not a constant thing. Construction is, that can be priority. Uh, hunting, so yeah, most of these people will be able to help. Alright, so we got uh, quite a bit of stuff done today. We got that building built and still needs a roof over it, but uh, for the most part it's done. 
for the library and they worked really hard on that. I had to manufacture a few more bricks. I actually unlocked that through the, um, what do you call it, the uh, recipes and stuff. So they should have crafted up a few of them. Yeah, they've already done that. So uh, there is a merchant that just came onto the map. We'll see if we can't buy some more um, stone bricks from them. But outside of that, the library just needs a roof over it. And then we got that part settled. Uh, I did a quick relog just to see if the um, water does generate. And yes, as you can see here on the parts that we mined out over on this side and that side, it is um, going to basically turn into water. So that's perfect. That's what we wanted. And uh, we'll be able to um, fill some stuff in next episode, get it all finished up for the... Um, these these two fields at least uh, I'll need to get the water into that part and stuff but outside of that we can start kind of modulating some of the parts around here for the farming and we'll make little bridge areas over so it's, they can easily get over and stuff but outside of that if you are new to my channel don't forget to subscribe comment down below rate the video and I will see you guys next time thanks for watching peace out